just like that, she was gone. I'm sorting out where to carry my two uh, loading ramps. And uh, I prefer the front because it won't be able to once again, the more weight forward, the more stable the trailer will be with towing. Uh, and by removing the two gas bottles that were here to place the two spare wheels here, I've created a space where I can mount them here. And I've found the drawbar a very uh, convenient place to, to put the uh, loading racks on my other trailer. I've gone down from the two gas bottles that used to be here down to one, so I've got to find a place for that. And I think it will sit there uh, really well. And the, uh, the frame to hold it, which I took off over there, will sit there with a brace over to that side. Now that's my job for today. Weld the bolts on for the carry ribs and weld on the, uh, the bracket here to hold the gas bottle. Six months work, my toy hauler is now 100% road legal registered. The guy who did the inspection described it on the official forms as a plant and equipment trailer which converts into a caravan. I 
found these towing aids buried deep in the bowels of the front storage locker in the caravan. They level the car and trailer out, they reduce swaying, and they make towing a heavy load much smoother and safer. But you can't use them on most factory tow bars because the forces they generate will bend a flat tongue. So I've got to upgrade to a super heavy duty Hayman Reese tow bar. These things cost uh, over a thousand dollars and with a huge stroke of luck I was able to pick this one up made exactly for my car for a hundred bucks. Bargain. You can see how much tougher it is with its square towing tongue. Any sort of comparison makes it obvious just how much tougher the Heyman Reese bar is. It mounts right forward onto the chassis rails. So now I've got to fit this. It's time for the swap over. To complete the conversion of my caravan into a car camper trailer, I need to finish the interior renovation of the sleepover. And things are coming along really well. All the 240 volt wiring has been redone to the power points, going back to the circuit breakers, which had to be moved from uh, where the back half of the caravan used to be. So that's all been rewired. The uh, 12 volt wiring has been redone. All the lights are now 12 volt. Um, and they work really well, LED units, very bright. I'm just running those off a car battery that I can uh, charge up as, as needs be. The walls have been relined, they were brown, they're now grey. The ceiling's been redone, air conditioner's been put back in and painted, microwave oven's been fitted. To uh, finish this kitchen area, I've got a bench top coming, but before that gets here, I've got to fit the best of the two fridges that my good friend Doug Walker repaired for me. They used to be over there. This one is the coldest. So that's the one I'm going to keep. And it's got a slot in there. I've made a, a framework up to uh, fit it and put sheet metal behind it because these things generate a bit of heat. And then over the top of that will go the three burner uh, new gas cooktop that I've got. That cost me 50 bucks, brand new. And then about here, my new round kitchen sink will go. That cost me $50 as well, and that's brand new. I've got those three items to fit in here. The first thing to do is get this fridge slipped in, uh, and then I can get the bench top and do the other two jobs.